it's time to go get groceries. Another week, another haul. Let's go shopping, y'all. Hey, hey friends, welcome back to another grocery haul. I did another Walmart pickup order. So we're gonna go over and get that. And on our way home, we are stopping by Food Line so I can get some meats and produce because they were having some good sales. So you will actually see a double haul this week. I know, right? <laughs> but anyways, we better go on over. The weather's kind of dreary. It's supposed to maybe have some sunshine later, but we'll see. But anyways, let's go get these groceries, y'all. Come on, let's go. So we're back. I'm going to go ahead and do this small food line part first, and then I got to still set up the Walmart part of it, but I figured I would do the food line section first. I spent right at $70 for everything, and I'll have that total at the end of this one before we start the Walmart. So let's get right into it. All right, so we got two pineapples, and I got a bunch of bananas. I've got some green grapes right here. I needed some red potatoes. I'm gonna be making some tater salad. And then we got four bacon potatoes. I'm gonna do some baked potatoes um, probably tomorrow for Sunday supper. And then I needed some more mini cucumbers. So picked up a pack of those. And then they had these on sale. They're just the tiny bottles. I always like to keep ginger ale on hand. You never know when you might need it upset tummies or if you just want one so they had these on sale two for eight so they were four dollars each and then they had ground beef on sale for 3.99 a pound um this is the 85.15 so i pretty much got almost five pounds this one was 2.34 this one was 2.6 this one was 10.37 and that one was 934. So I'm just gonna put those into each individual. I'll get about, we'll just do how they're sectioned here and put those in my vacuum sealer bags and get those put in the deep freezer. Then they had ballpark beef size franks or bun size beef franks on sale. So I went ahead and picked up those. These were $3 each. And then I picked up a can of manwich because that's gonna be supper one night this week coming up. And then they had pork loins and pork ribs on sale. They only had one pack of pork ribs, so I left them there because I would need two. They didn't have none in the back, and the pack that they did have was a little bit scrawny, so I just left it. And I went with a pork tenderloin, which they had on sale for $1.99. And it's about 3.2 pounds. And I paid $6.39 for this, so that was really good. We'll just roast this up in the oven and have it with our baked potatoes tomorrow night. And then non-food, I picked up some Easy Squeeze. They had these on sale for $2.99, which is a steal because these are $5, I think. And I needed some dish soap, so I picked up one of those. This was also on closeout, and I got the 69 fluid ounces or 44 loads, whatever you want to say. This was $10.59 on closeout. I had a coupon for $2, so I got it for $8.59. You cannot beat that for Tide. But that is everything that we got from Food Line. And like I said, the total is going to be down here. Now let's go on to Walmart. All right, y'all, so starting back here, we got two gallons of 2% milk. I'll have to take that out to our other fridge for right now. I got one more container of the heavy whipping cream because y'all know I like to keep these on hand. I got a container of Parmesan cheese. This can be for making sauces, putting it on salads, anything, um, skeddies, anything like that. So I like to keep it on hand as well. I got a block of sharp cheddar cheese because I need to get it shredded and put in the freezer as well. Then I picked up some sliced yellow American. We're gonna have tomato soup and grilled cheese tonight. So for supper, just something simple and easy. It's only about 60 and it's been raining on and off today. So I figured that would be 
a good meal. Although the sun is out right now, so that's nice. <laughs> then I picked up two more loaves of bread for sandwiches and stuff, whatnot throughout the week. I only ordered one pack of these hamburger buns. They are um, fresh baked in the store at Walmart, but I know I only ordered one of them. But you get eight buns for $2.88, which isn't bad. But I guess I got an extra one, which that'll be fine. So we'll do hamburgers and sloppy joes, I guess. Back here, I got another bag of Fruity Dino Bites. It's our favorite. The Malto Meal tastes so much better than the name brand Fruity Pebbles. So that's why we get them. And then the only meat that I bought from Walmart, because you already saw the food line part of it and where I got the other meats that we needed, were these chicken breast cutlets because these seem to be the best. If y'all hear Mason in the background, he's just saying hello. So um, I got two packs of those. I'm gonna be making um, a recipe that needed some chicken this week and I didn't have any in my deep freezer. So I picked up two of those. I got another pack, well not another pack. I got a pack of hot dog buns because we're probably gonna have hot dogs this week as well. Picked up another box of cinnamon streusel. Like I was saying, <laughs> somebody was walking by our house, so the dogs is letting me know. But I got another pack of his coffee cakes for his lunches. And then back here, I got the classic variety pack, which is the original potato chips, barbecue, sour cream and onion, and my favorite, salt and vinegar. So I picked those up for his lunches. I needed another bag of sugar. And another bag of sugar. I got two things of coconut milk, the vanilla. I'm gonna be making the um, refresher drinks that you see over, that Fallon makes over on Mouse Family TV. I love those things. I made them last year and tis the season. So I picked up the vanilla, which is what she says to use and it does make them really good. So I got two of those. I needed some more lemon juice. They didn't have the small bottles. So I was stuck with the 32 ounces, but that's all right. Um, we'll use it. Then I picked up a white cranberry strawberry for the strawberry one. And then I got a white cran peach for the peach. So Walmart didn't have their brand. So I had to pay just a little bit more for this, but that's all right. I picked up some Duke's mayonnaise just to put back for a prepper pantry stock up. Um, I've went through a couple of them. So I wanted to go ahead and get one more to put back in there. And then I got some white corn, got two cans of it. One for stock up one to make because we're doing the honey cilantro lime chicken bowls. So I needed some of those. I got another thing of shore gel just in case I wanted to make some more jellies or anything um, because I used both of those the last time. Then I picked up four more of our ranch packets because one of these is going to be used for to make the ranch for the um, cilantro lime chicken. Um, so I got four of those and then picked up some of the Castleberries hot dog chili sauce, the best one ever. And then drinks. This one was coming open. The box is kind of wet. So I hope one of those is not messed up, but I got two black cherries. Then I got a 40 pack of water. They didn't have the 24 pack. So I just got one 40 pack. Then I got six of the Snapple Apple and six of the peach tea, just to have something different. And of course, two gallons of the spring water for our Keurig. And then as far as non-food, I got some more collagen peptides, even though it is food because I put it in my drink. So I was out of it and this stuff does work really well. So I needed some more of it. And then I think I saw a TikTok <clears throat> my friend sent it to me and they say that if you take, I think it's 1100 milligrams of the ginger root, it's just as much as, what is it, Emetrex or whatever for migraines. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. They say to take it as soon as you start filling it and it takes it away in about 30 minutes. So I'm willing to give it a try. So I got some ginger root and then Got it some more OxyClean because I was out and I needed some, so I just picked up another one of those. 
but that is everything that we got from Walmart. And I also picked up a little summer dress. I'll see if I can insert a picture right here because that's part of this total too. But this is everything that we have and the total's gonna be right here. But that is it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know um, some things you're making this week, I'm trying to get some new ideas for some supper. So leave them below. I would love to hear your ideas. Until next time, if you are in need of prayer, please leave it down below in the comments or you can even private message me. All of my social medias are managed in the maze so you can find me easily. And I think that's it. Until next time, my sweet friends, I wish you all the best. God bless. Bye. Also, you can check out both of these videos that just popped up for y'all to get some more ideas for suppers or just to see my latest grocery haul or vlogs. Bye, y'all.